The Bible says, So have no fear of them, for nothing is covered up that will not become uncovered, and nothing secret that will not become known. What I say to you in the dark, tell in the light, and what you hear whispered, proclaim from the housetops. Do not fear those who kill the body, but cannot kill the soul. Today's Gospel reading is so relevant. It has been more than three weeks that Armenia and Artsakh have been under attack. The devastation, frustration and the anger that we are feeling is indescribable. I was born in Armenia, a land full of peace and greatness. I am angry because the rest of the world is indifferent. I am frustrated because the world is silent. But in all this, I still hold on to my faith and my hope never fades away. Today's reading says, For nothing is covered up that will not be uncovered, and nothing secret that will not become known. What I say to you in the dark, tell in the light, and what you hear whispered, proclaim from the housetops. Today, we should shout out loud and proclaim the truth from the rooftops, to be the light in the darkness and demand justice all around the world. I cannot remain silent because the blood of our martyrs screams out from within me. I am a child of Armenia. You are a child of Armenia. We all are the children of Armenia, and no one can take this spirit from us. Do not fear those who kill the body, but cannot kill the soul. These words of God are the core of our Armenian identity and the source of encouragement for our people. For centuries, the Armenian people survived with their faith and undefeatable spirit. Dear faithful, once again, God reminds us to not fear and to keep our spirits up because our adversaries cannot kill the soul, our soul. Our spirit is the greatest weapon and our faith is the greatest grief that God gave us. I am filled with that spirit. Every time I see our soldiers on the front lines with big smiles on their faces, especially when they say, Astvats merhetne. God is with us. Yes, our dear soldiers, keep your spirits high because we are all with you. Dear faithful, our soldiers need our voices, our ongoing support, our hands and our prayers. Amen.